Hey guys, I've um, just been reading um, some of the stuff on the web and especially on the uh, forums about chemtrails and um, there's an awful lot of people just talking usual rubbish but uh, one of the things that seems to keep coming across to me is everybody's well, there's a great deal of people that are just discounting what's going on right now and saying, you know, it's because we buy airports, it's because they're, they're just contrails or whatever. Um, one of the things I've tried to achieve over the last couple of days is basically posting quite a number of videos up showing the, the, the stages um, following dispersant um, coming out of the planes, which hopefully um, will start to uh, put to bed uh, some of the people that, you know, frankly don't believe what's happening um, in front of their eyes. One of the other things is that um, people don't have normally the chance to just continually view uh, what's going on. Um, so you don't see the, the, the changing patterns. So again, uh, this will probably be video posting number 7 on the 27th of September 2011. And um, I just wanted to show you. Um, so again, if you watch them in sequence, you'll see how the, the uh, chemtrails have gone from um, effectively just looking like contrails to what we have in the sky now and hopefully you'll see the stage builds that we've got um, to the point that we get um, uh, full dispersal in the, in the sky and um, basically a cloaking effect. So if you just have a look at what's, what's currently overhead um, everybody will see the, uh, the general shape of uh, what would be classed as a trail um, but over the course of um, several hours uh, this is what you achieve. You'll see that we've got um, the high altitude um, dispersant going on. You'll see how it's actually breaking away um, and basically forming an entire um, sheen on the sky. Again, very visible, the, uh, the plane's original uh, routing, but as you see, you know, how anybody can actually say that this is uh, leftover uh, water vapour is, is beyond me. As I said earlier, we've actually got very, very little um, movement in the sky today in terms of um, the stuff that is basically staying where it, where it's, where it's laying, um, which seems to be a common factor. When we actually had the um, the remnants of the uh, the hurricane a few weeks ago, there was absolutely no chemtrail activity in the skies for a number of days. I'm guessing one of the reasons for that is they specifically want to target certain areas for whatever reason. And uh, obviously if there's a huge amount of winds, then uh, there's no point because the stuff just blows somewhere else um, or actually breaks up really quickly. So it seems to be when we get very still days, um, as we have had for the last two days. Um, but um, I'm assuming it's also something to do with, uh, you know, with, with potentially what's going on um, uh, out either out in space or, or in our own um, uh, protection. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, all I can do is, is record like my own observations and comments and, uh, and let you guys decide. But um, as I say, hopefully what you've, what you've got today is you've now seen a uh, chemical trail leaving a plane all the way through to a uh, two, four and, uh, and six hour dispersal. And what you see now is the results of very early chemtrail activity. and. Uh, the most recent, which is probably about two hours ago, um, what we're achieving right now. So. Okay, guys, I'll keep posting. Um, thanks for the comments. And uh, don't forget to check out the, uh, the Facebook page, uh, HBBCT Global, and also HBBCT uh, slash global dot org uh, website. Um, trying to build it as quick as we can, put some information on there. Need your help and support to do it. So, thanks for watching.